At On Salus Health, we explain the reasons why one rib sticks out more than the others, something known as rib flare. Contusion on the rib. This is one of the main reasons a rib might bulge out. Car accidents, falling over, or even poor technique when exercising can lead to pain, bruising, and inflammation in the area. This is exacerbated when the rib is broken and it can cause immobility. How to treat it? In cases of physical trauma, it's important we rest and restore strength to the muscles. It is advisable we place cold compresses on the area three times a day. If the pain is intense, you have difficulty moving, or especially if your breathing is affected, you will need to see a doctor for diagnosis and treatment. Costochondritis or Tietze syndrome. Costochondritis is an inflammation of the cartilage that connects the rib to the breastbone. It produces intense pain on the left side, even making it feel like a heart attack. This condition can be suffered by anyone, particularly children and adolescents. Tietze syndrome is a similar condition affecting different rib cartilage. How to treat it. This swelling is harmless, lasts three to four days, and usually subsides on its own without treatment. To relieve pain, it is recommended to take analgesics such as ibuprofen, if previously indicated by a doctor. Warm compresses can also help. Muscle tear. A muscle tear in the left or right rib cage can occur when performing high intensity muscle activity, exercising without warming up, or being subjected to a high level of stress. The intercostal muscles alter their function, resulting in contractions and muscle tension. This can cause intense pain and bruising. How to treat it? A tear to rib muscle is relieved through massage treatment and exercise. Specifically, stretching movements of the intercostal muscles and pressure exercises in this area can help. It may be appropriate to use analgesics and gel to calm pain and inflammation. If you find this video helpful, remember that a super thanks can help us to continue growing our channel. Slipping Rib Syndrome This syndrome affects the ligaments that support the rib. When these move, the ribs slip, causing swelling and pain in the area. This condition is rare, so it can be easily misdiagnosed. This is due to having similar symptoms to asthma, inflammation of the chondral cartilage, esophagitis, and other conditions. How to treat it? The treatment of this ailment focuses on physiotherapy, stretching exercises, and warm water compressions on the inflamed rib area. In more serious situations when this condition does not improve, rib resection surgery is an option to avoid complications. Intraosseous lipoma in the rib. In some cases, inflammation of the rib may be due to a benign bone tumor or adipose tissue lipoma. In general, this type of lesion is asymptomatic, but it grows progressively to the point of observing a certain bulge or morphological change in the rib area. This condition is thankfully extremely rare. Hard to treat it. Treatment is based on surgery or surgical excision that completely removes the tumor to avoid secondary damage. Pectus excavatum. This condition is a congenital anomaly of the chest wall, sternum, and costal cartilages. It's located at the anterior ends of the ribs and is one of the most frequent malformations that can manifest in men and women. There is a characteristic asymmetry where we can observe a different size on each side of the sternum, one rib side bulkier than the other. This is usually evident as the person ages, particularly during puberty. People who suffer from this malformation usually have respiratory distress, cardiac compression, and sometimes functional alterations. How to treat it? Pectus excavatum can be treated with orthopedics and specific exercises in order to modify the posture of the shoulders and exercise the pectoral muscles. Some clinical evidence suggests a vacuum bell may be useful in elevating the sternum and improving breathing. Surgery is considered as the last option when previous alternatives prove inadequate. Pectus carinatum. This is a malformation of the sternum and the cartilages that connect the ribs, also known as a keeled chest. It is an inflammatory pathology or abnormal growth of the sternum, which manifests as a bulge from the middle of the chest to the right or left side of the ribs. It can cause shortness of breath, chest pain, and emotional disturbances due to body appearance. Like PE, this condition can develop in any sex and at any age. How to treat it. Appropriate treatment focuses on the use of orthopedic tools, such as a chest corset, and surgery as appropriate to help correct this abnormality. This is our On Salus Health video for today. We hope you found it useful, and feel free to share any of your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you next time.